too big to carry. I'll leave it here. These crates are made out of rainforest timber. That doesn't seem to work. I just found a knife and a lighter. How are things, Sparky? It could be better, Joe. The plane is pretty badly damaged. How long will it take you to fix her? Fix her? You need more than a mechanic to fix the Queen, Joe. You need a miracle worker. Can you stop the water leak? I can slow it down a little, but I'm afraid she's gonna sink. We gotta find a way off the plane. What supplies do we have? Just about everything's been water damaged, including my new Commander Rocket comic. I got some beef jerky if you're feeling hungry. I'm starved. I'd love some beef jerky. Here you go, Joe. Don't eat it all at once, or you could end up like me. Stuck in a sinking plane in the Amazon jungle? No, just slightly on the larger side. Though I have lost some weight lately, but that's probably because we haven't had a paying customer for months. Hang in there. I'll try, Joe. It's beyond repair. They look hungry. I read that they can eat a whole cow in under a minute. Here you go, fishies. It would make a great boat, but I need some sort of paddle. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. I don't want to cut that. Hey, Sparky. Yeah, Joe? I just found one of your comic book coupons. Is it the Commander Rocket Authentic Secret Pocket Rocket Decoder Ring coupon? That's the one. Unfortunately, it's all soggy. Gosh darn it. That page was from my new Commander Rocket comic which means the rest of the comic must have been damaged in the crash. Sorry, pal. You might as well keep it, Joe. I'll try and get a new one later. One that's in mint condition. It's a Pocket Rocket decoder ring coupon clipped from a Commander Rocket comic. There's part of a blueprint on the back of it. It looks pretty bad. That doesn't seem to work. Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. The stem is holding the lily pad in place.
Now ain't the time to be playing baseball. The stem is holding the lily pad in place. That should do the trick. It would make a great boat, but I need some sort of paddle. It would make a great boat, but I need some sort of paddle. It's not fit for whittling. Hey guys, hop on board. I'm gonna row this lily pad to the bank. Is this safe? Maybe you'd rather stay in the plane? I think I'll risk the lily pad. Okay guys, I want you to stay here while I go get some help. I'm gonna try and find a telephone and call Al's Air Rescue. While you're at it, give your lawyer a call too. You're going to need him when we get out of this mess. Ha ha ha. I think you should stick to drama, Faye. Comedy isn't you. Okay, guys. I won't be too long. Excuse me, Joe. Yes, Sparky? I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What sort of favor? Well, if you find the shop, could you see if they have any Commander Rocket comics? Comics? My copy of Commander Rocket vs. the Mob got water damaged in the crash. I'd really appreciate it if you could find me a new one. Okay, Sparky. I'll have a look. But I can't guarantee anything. After all, we're in the Amazon jungle. Thanks, Joe. What a pretty bird. Polly want a cracker? Ah, oh, oh. Princess Azura is in trouble. Uh oh. Ah, oh, oh, squaw. Hey, you can talk. Squaw, huh? Help me, Trader Bob. You're my only hope. Uh oh. <whistles> Ow, oh, squaw. Who's Trader Bob? And who's Princess Azura? Squaw, I'm being held captive. You must save me. Uh oh. What on earth are you talking about? Who's holding who captive? Squawk! Uh oh Help me, Trader Bob! You're my only hope! Uh-oh! Squawk! Hey! Come back here! That's just great! I've only just arrived in the jungle, and already I get a cryptic message. Maybe this Trader Bob character can shed some light. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. That doesn't seem to work. Phew, that sure is big. <laughs> hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is gonna let me through. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. It's a bit too strong for me to break. I can't move it. It's sharp.
Oonga! Hey, relax, pal. I'll just stay over here. I don't think the gorilla is gonna let me through. No thanks. I've grown attached to it. It looks too dangerous to cross. This vine looks strong enough to hold my weight. Boy, there sure are a lot of bananas up there. I don't want to cut that. I'm joking. <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can get past? <laughs> Thanks for the chat. I gotta go. Hello again. Did a parrot come through here recently? I guess that's, uh, no. Hello again. Sorry, pal, but I don't speak ape. Unga. You've lost me, pal. Say, uh, you're a gorilla, ain't ya? Uh huh. Unga, unga, gorilla. What on earth are we talking about? Shanga Uni! Unga Gorilla! I thought gorillas came from Africa. Chunga! Unga!
Say, buddy, I think you're right. Gorillas are only found in Africa. This is South America. You shouldn't be here. Gee, you're right. I guess I'd better get going then. How freaky. A phantom primate. That creep has left us here. He makes me so mad. I feel better now. That was expensive perfume. So? I'm rich. I can do whatever I want. What are you gonna do now? I'm going for help. But Joe said to stay put. Well, he can go jump in the lake. That is the question. I was wondering if you could help me. That depends. What do you want? Do you have a phone that I could use? I'm sorry, but we don't have a telephone. How about a ham radio? No, we don't have a ham radio. Would you have a courier pigeon? No, we don't have a courier pigeon. Now, if you don't mind, I have work to do. I think I've taken up enough of your time. At last, I can get some work done. Excuse me. What do you want? I'm lost, and I was hoping you could help me. What does this look like? An information bureau? If you want help, go talk to the fat guy at the convenience store. I'm curious. What are you guys doing in the jungle? Um, ah, uh, we have a lederhosen factory. We make lederhosen for export to Europe. Who are you, anyway? Are you the fumigator? Yes, ma'am. I'm the fumigator. For security reasons, 
I need some proof that you are who you say you are. May I see your equipment? I left it in my car. Well, don't just stand there. Go get it. Leave my pencil alone. Okay. It looks like some sort of door lock. Nah, I'm gonna hold on to it for a while longer. General Store and Authentic Native Village Playground. Dedicated to Pini, the great god of fertility. Hello, what are you looking at? Did you hear me, big guy? Do you come from around here? Where's the pygmy village? You still aren't gonna talk to me, are you? I give up. Hello again, Mr. Chatterbox. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? I give up. Hi, I'm Joe King. You took a bad idea, you want to do a girl, but you don't want to go. Sorry, I don't understand. Can you speak English? I beg your pardon? I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. He's asleep. Hi, I'm Joe King. I don't speak pygmy. Goodbye. We accept MasterCard and Visa. He's asleep. We accept MasterCard and Visa. We accept MasterCard and Visa. <laughs> so we meet again, my fine feathered friend. Howdy, son. My name's Trader Bob. 
I run this shop with Naomi over there. What can I do for you? Are you the same trader Bob that this parrot told me about? Maybe. What else did that parrot tell you? Well, he told me about some princess. Azura, I think her name was. He said that she was in trouble. Listen, buddy. We gotta talk. What's your name? My name's King. Joe King. Pilot for hire. Well, Joe, Princess Azura is a good friend of mine, and she's been kidnapped. I don't know who's responsible, but I have my suspicions. I may need your help in finding her. Are you interested? Why do you need my help? Can't you do it yourself? The people I suspect of kidnapping Azura know me as her friend. They'd be very suspicious if I showed up snooping around. No one in the jungle knows who you are. I'm not interested. I've got my own problems. Oh yeah? Princess Azura's life depends on us finding her. What could be more important than that? I crashed my plane in piranha-infested waters. Okay, I admit that is a slight problem. But Princess Azura may die if we don't help her. Look, if you help me, I'll see what I can do about your plane. Okay, I'll help. Fill me in on the details. Great, I knew you'd help. I think that Floda, a lederhosen company, kidnapped Azura. She was last seen near their camp earlier today. It'd be great if you could check the place out. What makes you think that Flota kidnapped her? A number of other people have gone missing near there. Besides, Flota has electric fences and vicious guard dogs. Isn't that a little odd for a clothing company? What's a lederhosen company doing in the Amazon? Exactly. From what I can tell, the lederhosen is just a cover for their real activities. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure it's no good. What exactly is lederhosen? Lederhosen? Why, it's clothing. You know, sort of like leather shorts, I think. Not the sort of thing you'd wear in this hot weather. Now that I have the details, I guess I'll be off. You'll find Floater on the other side of the pinnacle. Be careful, Joe, and if you need any more help, just ask. Hi, I'm Joe King, pilot for hire. Can I help you? I'm interested in some of your merchandise. Which merchandise in particular? I'm interested in that vacuum cleaner thingy. A lot of people mistake it for a pesticide pack, but it's definitely a vacuum cleaner. It's got a built-in battery and it's on sale for one day only. What's with the barber chair out front? That's part of my village hair salon. I'm a qualified stylist, except I don't get to use my skills much. The only thing people want around here are bowl cuts. Could you give me a haircut? Maybe another day. I've got a date with Bob tonight and I have to get ready. I'm really nervous about it. How come you're nervous about your date tonight? Oh, it's no big deal. Bob gave me some perfume, which I was going to wear tonight. But Wedgwood drank the entire bottle. He was drunk for a whole week. Hmm, that explains the alluring aroma when we first met. I haven't the heart to tell Bob what happened, and I know he'll be expecting me to wear the perfume. What am I going to do? If I find some perfume, will you trade some stuff in the store for it? I'm sorry, but I'm not allowed to do that. 
but I could trade you something of mine, like my trusty hairdressing scissors, for example. I'll keep that in mind if I happen to find some perfume. Thanks. Where did you learn to speak English? The missionaries in the jungle can speak pygmy, so they taught me how to speak English. I'm the only one in my village that can speak it fluently. Where can I find these missionaries? They have their mission in the jungle. If you're thinking of asking them to teach you pygmy, forget it. They won't teach you for nothing. How come Bob over there didn't teach you? Bob's a nice guy and all, but his grasp of the English language is a little limited. He thinks grandma is the person who washes his grandfather's socks. <laughs> Thanks for your time. That's okay. Essential for Amazon fishing. I'd hate to put my bare hands into piranha-infested waters. Excuse me, I'd like to buy this. I'm sorry, but those are for special customers only. They are not for sale. Sorry. It's empty. That's right, son. A new supply of beef jerky should be through any day now. It's a self-powered model, though it looks more like a bug exterminator's kit. Great German composers. Elevator Muzak collection. Just my luck, it's out of order. Hmm, it's one of those Swedish wildlife films. I wonder if the tank was full of goldfish this morning. Neat. Who'd want to wear mouse ears on their head? Yeah, aniseed balls. Gross. I think they're full of castor oil. Hi there. Pieces of me! Pieces of me! Ah. Who's a pretty boy then? Fuck! Not you! That's for sure! Yo ho ho in a bottle of rum. Ah, ah. Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Squaw! Ah, ah. Polly want a cracker? The name's Wedgwood. Squawk! Bozo! I'd like to talk, but I gotta fly. Ah! Wise guy, eh? Has there been any success in finding the Crystal Skull? Uh, not yet, Dr. Einstein. I have my best men looking for it in the temple. I must have that skull soon! It's the key to gaining entry to the Valley of the Mists. Yeah, and to obtaining more dinosaur samples. Exactly. And with my new dino ray, I can begin building my army of dinosaur women. Excellent, sir. Then I shall rule the world. <laughs> yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. 